I finally got around to looking at that reduction lens he sent me, and I realized it wasn't reducing anything compared to the, the, the older fashioned one here that doesn't have the turn ring. Whatever I had on it, I could literally produce the same results with just the camera without no lens, which to be able to do that and still get the same results was horrible. So I started realizing that it's a possibility somebody had installed a lens in Upside Down. So I wanted to take a look at that as being a possibility, of course, because, uh, you know, stuff does happen. I'm going to have to clean these lenses up once I figure out the correct direction of the lenses. There we go. Good. Good. Let's try that. Ooh, a picture. Look at that. And it's the same picture I have, too. Now let's try zooming in. And focusing. Bring that up and the focus there. The reduction lens was it effective the reduction lens just because somebody put the lenses in upside down. It does work. Of course I have to I I, I have to clean these lenses up now because these lenses are dirty than heck. But when I can put my camera on top of it like this and get the same results, I don't know why it's took me this long to look at it. I just never bothered to look at it before. There was definitely something wrong with that reduction lens. The odd thing is, is I think I'm going to have to use this camera and this reduction lens to ensure that I'm cleaning these lenses correctly now to make sure I have clean lenses. And you see the same focus just got me the same thing. That's exactly the same image on my monitor that I just achieved with this after flipping the lenses. Now I know why he preferred this set. And he actually preferred this set. And I, I could not believe he preferred this set. He's like, well, it works. I prefer that set because it works. Now I know why. Because literally, he had no image. There was only one focal point. But when you did, you could see nothing through the eyepieces at all. When I realized that... It, it, it gave me the same image as just putting the camera on top of it. Then I realized something was definitely not right here. They were completely backwards. In fact, the big lens here, the big lens was in the bottom uh, of this. No wonder it didn't work at all. It, it was completely, the whole lens was completely installed wrong. They actually had it installed, now that I'm gonna remember which way the lenses go, they had it installed This way, small lens facing the camera, big lens facing the microscope. That's the way they had it installed. Apparently that's not the way, because that didn't work at all. An image. An image that I believe is a workable image and, and is the same distance of where my glove was, where I was just focusing a second ago showing you the lenses. I guess my point is, Manufacturing companies do mess up, especially when there's humans putting things together. There's human error. And, well, in this case, that's exactly what happened. And it was put together. The lenses were put in upside down. Lens cleaners. And we are going to now try to clean this lens, because after I was flipping lenses back and forth and upside down, and uh, we got some dirty lenses now, I guarantee you. I'm going to walk you through and show you how to fix it. First off. Remove the old lens. I already took off the lens reten retainer. It's a little ring that has two little slits in it. You want to be very careful taking that off where you could damage the lens. You can see here the big lens was actually at the bottom facing the microscope. Big lens was at the bottom when you take it out. That, that was backwards. It should have been the small lens. The way it should face is this way. Small lens, spacer, then the big lens. That's the way it should go in. Now there's two important facts. Well, first we're gonna clean them up because boy did I dirty these things up. I was trying different ways and flipping them and we could definitely see a lot of dirt here. So let's go ahead and clean these up real fast. 
Yes, I'm doing a low poor quality voiceover right now, and I'll admire my work. Look at that. You see that slightly bluish greenish tin on there? That's a good thing. That's an anti reflective coating that's supposed to block uh, ghost imaging, ghost lighting, preventing your camera from overexposure, basically, uh, light reflecting back on itself between and bouncing between the two lenses. You don't want that. That's what the cheaper lenses seem to do. And this is the way you want to insert it. This is very important. You see on the left hand side how it's curved? That means it's curved in on the one I'm facing down when I put it in. You want that curvature to be facing you, I guess, when you put that lens in. Or, another way to put it, you want that curvature to be facing this spacer. So in the end, both of these lenses will be curved in towards each other with a spacer in the middle. It's also very important to, you know, now that I've had the lens exposed and everything, get all the dust out of there. So I'm going to clean the spacer as well. This can be a little finicky, so sometimes it's good to use a pair of tweezers to get the drop in a little easier. And there we go. All right. Now we're going to clean the big lens. You'll also notice that the big lens is curved a certain way, but it's much more defined. You can tell the curve a lot easier. This curve is going to go down facing the spacer. This way, both lenses are curved in towards each other, and that's what you're looking for with the spacer in the middle. Always clean the lens from the middle, start in the middle, and work your way out. This way it pushes the dirt and oils off of the lens. So you always start in the middle, and then work your way in a circular motion to the outer edge. You also notice that this lens is actually made of two different lenses. They actually did a really good job gluing these lenses together. I couldn't find any artifacts of the glue, but they did actually press two lenses together here. Uh, and that's fine, as long as it does a good job and it stays together and holds up over the years. There's nothing wrong with that. I've seen a lot of lens companies do that in different cameras. So we're going to put that in facing down. Now, it's going to be a tight fit, so it might have some air. And that way it takes a little bit to drop down. So you see that little hole there in the back or top. You want to make sure that lens is about flush with that little drill piece hole that they got there. And of course, since we took it all apart, we're going to clean up the lens retaining o-ring as well. So let's go ahead and clean that up. And we can take the tweezers and drop that in. Now you can actually use the texture of your nitrile gloves now to, to get this started. And actually to screw most of it in. Uh, you can either turn the ring with your fingers or you can turn the lens below. It doesn't matter. It should be a really smooth going in. If, if it's not smooth then you probably have some dirt inside the the thread somewhere and then once you get it all the way into where it won't turn anymore with the texture of your gloves I'm just kind of inspecting and making sure I got all the dirt off of there the way the two lenses work together you'll notice it kind of focuses or, or actually magnified a little bit when I picked it up you can see the texture of the board underneath it and then I used a big pair of flat tweezers to bring the ring in the rest of the way you don't want to over tighten it you will damage the glass but you do want a little bit of pressure on there kinda of like a screw screwing into plastic you, you don't want to over tighten it or you'll strip it but you want a little bit of pressure on there so I'm going back and forth between each side just making sure it has a little bit of pressure and now we can finally assemble the actual cap and put the screws back in now these screws Technically screwed into aluminum, probably should have a little bit of blue Loctite on them, just a little bit, because you, you don't want any of that Loctite running down into your lens mechanism or anything, or get on the lens for that fact. So if you choose to do a little bit of blue Loctite, be very careful about that. But after I torqued them just a little hand tight, they seem to hold pretty good. I don't think they'll work the, their way loose. I, I think they'll be okay. So here we go. Finished final product. I'll put back together again with the lenses facing the correct way. And let's remove the old lens and uh, put the new lens on here. I did fast forward through that part. So now I'm just going to focus my eyepieces and focus the lens real quick. And we're going to do some good magnification in right down to this BJ 20 by 20 pad and see what kind of texture and focus we can get on this. And I'm happy when that gold starts to appear like it's actually chrome and silver because truthfully those are actual silver plated copper yep okay so yeah I got that texture I got that perfect zoom in it looks really good 
I've now cleaned the lenses and I've turned the lenses upside right. Let's grab a focus point here with my current reduction lens. There we go. Let's see if now that I've flipped the lenses, we can get an image out of this SD top 0.35 reduction lens that has a, a spinning circle kind of a, a thingy on it. And oh, there it is, an image. Look at that, it works. I just knew something was not right with this. Thank you, Stefan. Appreciate you sending the lens. I did figure out what was wrong with the lens. The lenses were installed upside down. Was not your fault. In that case, let me put this one away. I don't want to get any dust on this one because I know this one's good. Let's take a look at this little USB 3 doohick of a bobber. Yes, doohick of a bobber. It's, a, it's an actual truly scientific electronic engineering repair word. Doohick of a bobber. There we go. So, get this focused with my eyes. And how's it look on the camera? Uh, camera's a little off. Turn the camera a little bit. Now let's bring her all the way in. Ramp it in. And focus up. I want to actually focus on the silk screen. That's what I'm after right now, the silk screen. Okay, I got a good, good eye. And I can go all the way out now. Almost keeps the same exact focus. Actually, a little bit out of focus that I see on the camera is the same out of focus I have on to the eyepieces. So let's bring it down a little. That seems to be matching up good. Of course, over that range, you're going to have to focus it off a little bit. That's a lot. That's a huge range. Let's look at shiny little silver balls because that's always a. a a hard thing to take reflection on. And we'll look at the actual traces beyond the solder balls. That would be considered in focus for my eyes, and I think that's, yep, that would be considered in focus for the camera too. This will make it really easy if I can get it aligned just right. Okay, it's like a sniper shot, don't breathe. Okay, so we got one, two in the corner, one, two in the corner, not perfectly in the corner, it's close, I'm gonna get it. One, two in the middle, one, two in the middle. Okay, and th that, Test shot right there on that trace is my dead center, which is this one right here. I got one, two, one, two, one, two, and two in the middle, right? So I got three up top, three down bottom, two in the middle. And then all I have to do is just take this lens off. I like the fact that it's easier to focus. Put the old lens on. There's my one, two, there's my one, two, three up top. There's my one, two, three down bottom. There's the one, two in the middle. And here's one, two, and here's one, two over here, almost three. I definitely have a much wider view. But what I also have is with this much wider view, this is slightly out of focus. This is like a slightly out of focus. And this definitely is my sharper point. So, and that's because I'm focused all the way in. So the reason I deal with a little bit of blurriness on the outside is wide angle lens. So maybe they did actually do a good thing by changing the lenses. Now only if the people at the factory would remember how to install them correctly. Just kidding. No, not really. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I can, I can still get all the way out. I can see the whole board. Under my eyes, though, I definitely see a lot more board. Right here, I can see my fingers. That's zoomed all the way out. And what I basically have is this whole little micro USB adapter here, okay? That's my finger along this edge. That's my finger top and bottom. Now watch the difference here. This is the, the newer one, so it's got a much tighter fit to it. This is the older one, but of course I'm gonna be more out of focus the further I go left and right. But all in all, look how much more I can actually see 
Before, my fingers had to be right up on it for you to see the fingers. Now you can actually see all the way out here. But again, all the way out here, I'm pretty much out of focus. Right about here. So maybe they may, may, made, a, made a good decision by changing to that lens. I think I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna try the, the, the new lens for a while. And of course the optics on this one are slightly off. It causes it to go slightly blurry on the furthest distance in the field of view. This one keeps a better clarity, but it does that by taking away some of that view. I mean it's a lot cleaner focus all around. You know, somebody contacted me and said, I want exactly what you want. And I said, well, that's going to be hard. Because one, I can't find the same reduction lens that I have anymore. Um, two, I don't, I, I'm having a hard time finding this base. Well, I found a store on, uh, on Scotty from Strange Parts. Uh, I've talked to him a few times. He recommended I talk to his friend over there, Sume. And Sume just happened to open up a store recently on Aldi. So I talked to Sume and, and said, Sume, can you still get this base with this head and this light? And this guy wants exactly what I want, including that camera from Eddie. Except I didn't tell Sume to get that. I didn't want to recommend the new one until I knew for a fact that it was good or bad. I didn't know where it stood. Uh, so I figured, okay, you know, it's time to put that thing on and try to figure out, is that a good reduction lens? Is it a bad reduction lens? Is it... You know, what's going on with this thing? Was the guy I was helping, you know, was it a problem, was it a problem with his microscope? Or was it a, an actual problem with the reduction lens? I, you know, and I'm not going to find out unless I actually put it on my microscope. So, hey, here we are. We put it on the microscope. I really didn't think there were, I didn't expect that to have been the issue, though. Like, a problem with the actual reduction lens, having the lenses being installed upside down. Backwards, basically, I'll stand out. I, I didn't expect that to be the issue. Hey, I'm, I'm surprised. I really am. So I got the ones and fives and zeros all down bottom. Okay. Let's bring it all the way in against the gold pad. Full light. I want to see what it looks like. See how much reflectiveness it takes on, if it has that anti-reflective coating that I need. It's not reflecting too bad, it doesn't seem, okay. So before when it was reflecting really bad, I think that's because I hadn't cleaned the lenses and I was still taking it apart and trying to figure out why it was acting weird. Now that I got the lenses clean and everything though, it doesn't seem to be doing that, that really harsh reflection. So let's go ahead and throw some really shiny silver balls in there. Alright, that's not bad. I can take that. I can deal with that. Let's throw some shiny metal in there. That's the texture of the uh, USB 3.0 port here. There it is. That's the inside. That little hole in that little USB 3 port. That's usually a very shiny, textured, reflective material that will bounce light all over the place and make it look really bad. Pull this off. Now, this one. This is some serious shiny reflectiveness. Let's drop this in here. Get into focus. Bring it all the way in. Into focus again. See the little hairline scratches on it. That looks good. I'll take it. 